There once was a girl. No one dare speak her name. I just wanted to let you know I'm a really big horror fan, Rings fan, so I was really looking forward to this sort of like soft reboot of the film franchise. Can you tell us more about how you came on board? Uh, yes, uh, well I was, um, I was working on another project uh, called The Crow mm -hmm. uh, for a while. Awesome. Um, then I got the call from the producers, uh, Walter Parks, uh, he's the producer of the original Green movie, uh, the American adaptation, right, uh, with Robert Bermiski and Rings too. Uh, he told me that they were working, they have been working on a, a movie, a new movie, a new chapter for the franchise, uh, trying to go back to the roots and everything. And well, uh, when, when I talked to them, I, I thought it was like, as a fan of the, the first one, because I'm a really big fan of Hideo Nakara's yes. adaptation, I mean, uh, of the book, and, uh, and, and Igor Berbinsky, I think he did an amazing job too. I felt like, okay, uh, it's, uh, it's going to be fun, it's going to be different, it's going to be a challenge too. So, uh, and it's going to, it's a movie that as director, uh, visually, it's an interesting piece of work because you can work uh, with beautiful visuals and aesthetic and, and disturbing elements too, totally. so of the psychology, so it, it was like a no-brainer. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of the book, um, were there any elements that you pulled from that in order to kind of uh, bring it into this new era for the franchise? Well, uh, for the new, uh, regarding the new era, uh, things that they, we were exploring were like the technology. Yes. Uh, we were like, a, it's like a, right now we are living in a world surrounded by iPads, tablets. And a lot of technology. IPhones, technology everywhere. So there is, that's a lot of screens. So to bring our girl back from one of those screens was one idea that always everybody was playing with, right? Um, and yeah, to explore, in this movie we wanted to explore that. Uh, and we started to explore it in, the, in this new chapter, right? Uh, which was really, really like a challenge, like I said, because uh, coming from a different culture, like you can, there's things that you see in like Japanese horror movies mm -hmm. that you just buy them because they are Japanese, right? And they could feel goofy if you adapt them yeah. to a European or an American culture, Occidental culture, right? So that was the challenge to to adapt uh, our movie to, to the new times, right? Mm -hmm. To the new technology. And, to and make adapt it Samara too, because she came from a VHS tape, very, very analog exactly, technology. Exactly. You would think, you know, with her abilities being more uh, connected to like the internet or just how our technology is now would kind of amplify her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And all that is something that is, uh, we plan a lot of seeds in this movie too. Um, for a potential new yes. chapter too, uh, but yeah, definitely is uh, it, it, those are elements that they give us a lot of play and, and opens a lot of doors to explore. And they're very she's fun. not limited anymore. It's know? not limited. If she goes viral, yeah. then everything gets pretty intense. Yes, yeah. I'm really excited to see where that goes because I was yeah. always envisioning something like that with the story. Yes, and to yes. see that like. I mean, spoilers, <laughs> like stop the video here <laughs> if you haven't seen the movie. Um, she does get, you know, viral at the end. Yes, yes. At this movie, this chapter, it was, uh, we could have started with a viral element, but was a back and forth decision for a long time till... till but you're team. missing how she goes from that transition. Exactly. You know? So this chapter is that transition, I would say. It's like the transition from... It's a movie that goes from analogical mm -hmm. to digital. Yes. And it's the piece that, you know, you cannot do a movie and develop and just deliver like a digital full on new movie. I think it's a good, take time just to develop that and at the same time explore the roots of Samara. Mm -hmm. It was uh, interesting. Uh, do you have any updates on The Crow? I, know, I believe you're still part of, part of the producing team? Yeah, it, it's uh, has been back and forth. I cannot tell you right now because I have been lagging I haven't talked with that president, the main producer yet, in a while. Uh, but they were doing good, good. Uh, you know, they were advanced, uh, moving forward. Mm -hmm. It was going good. I know Corinne is doing another movie now, so I'm not sure how when it's gonna start. But hopefully everything goes well. I, I love that project. And I love yes. Ed Pressman and James O'Barr. Yes, my the personal comic friend. is one of my favorites. It's amazing the comic book. You know who's actually a nerd uh, for the Crow is Lin Monroe Miranda. 
from Hamilton. He's a big crow nerd. Oh, I didn't yeah. know. If, he, if you look at his Twitter, um, yeah, he tweets himself as he dressed up as the crow when he was in school. Oh, that's so cool. Is, you should totally cameo him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. he'd be down. That's okay. <laughs> but it's good to know. I'm looking forward to that project and looking forward to more Rings movies. Thank okay, you. Thank you. Someone put the tape online. The video is everywhere. This is so disturbing.